Hello, dear friends. There is so much going on that it is hard to keep track, but what is certain is that it's impossible not to feel the amazing and wonderful frequency that is coming. The world has entered an era of instability that cannot even compare to the health crisis. Let's hope that this global crisis will have a positive ending with God's help. Opinion piece. Super flare. Flashes in space. Everything would be very intense. The countdown begins. Published in science magazines. Next space fireworks. The phenomenon would take place in three years. It resembles the announced great solar flash. Scientists predict a powerful flash. It is due to the measure of two black holes. Some stars have violent outbursts. It would be the biggest event in history. There would be profound changes in all sectors. Sunspots larger than Earth discovered. Let's start. The countdown has begun. Scientists predict a powerful flash in space in three years. Chinese and Canadian scientists predict a powerful flare in space that humankind will witness. Science Magazine reports. This phenomenon would take place in the next three years and would be due to the merger of two black holes located in another galaxy. In the near future, the population of the Earth will be able to observe a surprising phenomenon with unpredictable consequences. Every 25,900 years, a great solar flare eliminates all lower vibrational energies and evil in our solar system. Our Sun is expected to produce a flare in two or three years at the most, and it could be even this year. No negative entity will be able to withstand the new high energies that are entering the solar system. To prepare humankind is asked to meditate and remain in a state of peace, compassion and forgiveness in service to others. This will keep our collective consciousness in a, posit in a positive frequency that is harmonious for entering into the 5D reality during the great solar flares. There is little time left and the world is awakening now. A blinding light will shine. The solar flare will help all humankind to go deeper into themselves and realize who they are. We cannot give dates, but we can say that it is building rapidly and because of the cosmic changes that are happening with the planets, with the stars, and all of that is aligning more and more. Definition A flash is an instantaneous flare produced when some flammable materials, such as gunpowder, magnesium, etc., ignite. It is like a flash, spark, flare, a sizzle, a glow or a gleam. This phenomenon could have many spiritual interpretations, but here we start with the scientific explanations. Super flares are very strong explosions observed in stars with energies up to 10,000 times higher than typical solar flares. Stars of that class satisfy the conditions that should make them solar analogs and would be expected to be stable over very long time scales. The original line candidates were detected by a variety of methods. No systematic study was possible until the launch of the Kepler Space Telescope, which observed a large number of solar type stars with very high precision over an extended period. This showed that a small portion of stars had violent outbursts up to 10,000 times more powerful than the strongest outbursts known in the Sun. In many cases, there, will, there were multiple events in the same star. 
younger stars were more likely to flare than older stars, but strong events were observed in stars as old as the Sun. The flares were initially explained by postulating giant planets in very close orbits so that the magnetic field of the stars magnetic fields in plural of the star and the planet were linked. The planet's orbit would deform the field lines until the instability released the magnetic field energy in the form of a flare. A superflare stars show nearly periodic brightness variations that are interpreted as very large star spots that are displaced by rotation. Spectroscopic studies found spectral lines that were clear indicators of chromospheric activity associated with strong and extensive magnetic fields. This suggests that superflares differ only in a scale from solar flares. Attempts have been made to detect past solar superflares from nitrate concentrations in polar ice, from historical observations of aurora borealis, and from those radioactive isotopes that can be produced by solar energetic particles. And three events and some candidates have been found in carbon-14, three ring records. Solo superflares would have drastic effects, especially if they occurred as multiple events, since, since they can occur in stars of the same age, mass and composition as the Sun. This cannot be ruled out. However, solar type superflare stars are very rare and magnetically much more active than the Sun. If solar super eruptions do occur, it may be in well-defined episodes that occupy a small fraction of their time. Flare star A flaring star is a variable star that can undergo drastic and unpredictable increases in brightness for a few minutes. Flares are thought to be analogous to solar flares in that they are due to the magnetic energy stored in the star's atmosphere. The brightening is across the spectrum, from X-rays to radio waves. The first known blazing stars were discovered in 1924. However, the best known flaring star is UV SETI, whose flare was first observed in 1948. Most of the flaring stars are faint red dwarfs, although recent research indicates that less massive brown dwarfs may also be capable of flaring. More massive variables are also known to emit flares, but these flares are understood to be induced by a companion star in a binary system that causes the magnetic field to become entangled. In addition, nine sun-like stars had also been seen to undergo flare events prior to the avalanche of superflare data for, from the Kepler Observatory. It has been proposed that the mechanism for this is similar to that of variables in that the flares are being induced by a company, it is to say an invisible Jupiter-like planet in close orbit. Solar flare. A coronal ma mass ejection is expected to hit the Earth's magnetic field today, Monday, March 28th. The impact could trigger minor G1 class storms with high latitude auroras. Near solar maxima, the Sun produces about three flares each day, while near solar minima, there is about one flare every five days. Scientists have just discovered a sunspot group twice the size of the Earth. The originating solar activity could reach Earth in the form of a high-speed solar wind because its coronal hole, which is near its equator, has turned in the direction of the planet. A huge set of some spots, the central part of which is at least twice the size of the Earth, is sprouting over the northeastern tip of the Sun 
reported spaceweather.com. A solar flare is an intense eruption of electromagnetic radiation in the sun's atmosphere. Flares occur in active regions and are often, but not always, accompanied by coronal mass ejections, solar particle events and other solar phenomena. A coronal mass ejection, CME, is a significant release of plasma and the accompanying magnetic field from the sun's corona into the solar wind. Flares are often associated with solar flares and other forms of solar activity, but the widely accepted theoretical understanding of these relationships has not been established. If a flare enters interplanetary sp space, it is called an interplanetary coronal mass ejection, capable of reaching and colliding with the Earth's magnetosphere, where it can, it can cause geomagnetic storms, auroras, and in rare cases, damage to electrical power grids. The largest geomagnetic disturbance on record was the solar storm of 1859, also known as the Carrington event. It disabled part of the then newly created telegraph network, causing fires and shocking some telegraph operators. Planetary transition. Earth and its humankind are now experiencing a unique moment of change. This movement is called the planetary transition. Everything will be very intense. There will be profound changes in all known and unknown sectors as the old Earth dissolves to make way for the new planetary home. All that has been learnt, known, believed and practiced will gradually cease to exist in a few years. Much has already changed, but because of these changes are gra gradual, most people don't even realize it. Compare it to hair or nails, they grow constantly, but you only notice it when they are bigger. This is how changes are made from the old earth to the new earth. The financial system remains as a basic element for everyone's survival. Today there are billions of people who are worried about their job, their business, their salary and their basic needs to make a living. This concern is understandable, but the assurance we have from the higher order that control the wealth is that all is going very well, and that this is leading Earth and her humankind into a new era, also called the Golden Era. On the new Earth, there will be, there will no longer be a situation of pain and suffering. Therefore, there will be no scarcity of any kind. There will be abundance without limits. For those who now unbalance the finances will no longer exist. The swindlers, the spoilers, the slavers, in short, all the power that some exercise over others will cease to exist. And the earth, as a source of feminine, feminine energy, that is to say, as a mother, will give all that her children need. Finally, the time of abundance and prosperity has come. All dominant powers will be dissolved and competition will, will cease to exist to give way to cooperation. New system. What, what will, be, will the new financial system be like, according to Vital Fursi? The only certainty we have for now is that no one can know beforehand for several reasons. And the main reason is that it is not a system known to any humankind, since it is a quantum program created outside the Earth. The QFS is a transitional financial system that will be used during a transition period between now and the next decades, because in the future there will be no need for any kind of currency. No one can know the exact date when it will begin, but it will be soon, I hope, possibly even this year, otherwise during the next year. It may not, not start in all countries at the same time.
it seems that there are still governments that are not connected with the Earth Alliance. Such governments must be changed to release the QFS to their people. One piece of information which has already been released says that everything is ready, everything has been tested and everything has been approved. All that remains is to pull the trigger. The, resource, the resources are available and even for the countries they will be released. They will be released. What we can know is that it will not be for all people at once. There are important criteria to be taken into account, the most important of which is morality. All currencies would lose their value. No money would no longer be of any use if it, if it is not legally redeemed. Then those who obtain their money illegally would become the new poor of the planet. There is another important aspect. Nothing will be lost to anyone who possesses resources and even wealth and within ethics and morals. These resources will be added to new values that will, ma will be made available to all. It seems fair and reasonable that this should be so. No one ever loses what is truly theirs, but as described here, the exact shape of everything is still unknown. In fact, most cannot even imagine the actual form of existence, because humankind doesn't yet know it at, at all. No one has ever imagined a system of this magnitude. A few, a few weeks ago, a piece of information received went something like this, in quotes. Imagine if everyone, regardless of whether they have a bank account, we are given an unlimited credit card to meet their needs. Anything you need, food, medicine, house to live in, etc. You just swipe the card and the patches would be released and paid for. All needs would be met in this way. But if a family needed a house, they could not expect a palace, because in that case the card would not release the funds. The password seems to have a conscience. You can have everything you really need, but nothing more than that. Maybe there is still the possibility to work, to earn a little more, offer an activity to make a difference, but most importantly, no one has to experience scarcity and lack again. Remember, there will be a need for certain services and activities for some time. The world is changing rapidly, but it will not stop completely. There is a time need for all adjustments. The time for slavery through labor and debt is coming to an end. Nothing will ever be the same again. Be prepared for the new that is coming soon. Do not fear for your profession or your business. Do not fear the future. Trust for the golden age is not gold for color, but gold for the abundance you deserve. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.